Hey everybody, happy Monday, August 16th. Woo! Uh, hope you're all doing well. It's been a minute since I've been on here. If you're here, please say hello. I'd love to chat with you. If this is your first time, I've got hair going everywhere. My name's Leslie, um, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and the founder of the Plaid Poodle Paper Crafting Company. Hi, Carol. Hi, Letha. Um, I had some time today to work on some things, and um, so I couldn't wait to get on here. It's been, like I said, it's been a while. Um, my mom, as some of you may know, is having some health issues, and... Um, we have just been busy trying to get to the bottom of some things and she's kind of been in and out of the hospital. So my focus has kind of been, dis I've been distracted anyway. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can, but i um, glad to be here today. And I am gonna do something new today. I'm gonna roll this over so you can see my screen. Hi, Stace. There we go. Um, in the comments, if you've ever used Sketch, I missed something. My print didn't print right, but there should be a, a little bit of lie down here. <laughs> when I copied and pasted, I didn't do it right. This should go like this. We'll fix it later. This is a sketch of a card front. Like I said, if you have used Sketches before, just say yes or, um, Put a heart or thumbs up in your comments. I would love to see um, how many of you have used a sketch. I created this sketch um, just this morning and I did it fancy, all fancy, but you can do a sketch just with your pen and paper. Um, just trace a card front and then um, fill in with different things that you um, might want to include in a card. And I was thinking of sketches because like I said, my focus, and I've been a little distracted from my crafting and sometimes it's hard to kind of get into into it and, and back into it when you've or your mind's on other things it's kind of hard to, to get your crafting mojo going so sometimes sketches help me hi Betty hi Maria um, sketches help me um, get going so I like I said I created this one this morning and I want for some reason I've been seeing everyone's Christmas stuff and I wanted to do a Christmas card. Speaking of Christmas stuff, y'all, I I just placed my order from, from the new catalog <laughs> because I've been so busy and it shipped today. So I'm hoping um, next week to be able to share some projects using the products that I got from the new mini catalog but I also wanted to mention during the month of August for every $50 purchase you make from Stampin' Up! and it doesn't have to be out of the holiday it can be anything that's on the website um, you can choose a product from the um, celebration brochure there's stamp sets there's dies there's beautiful papers I am waiting on this little sheep set because I thought it would go so well with our birthday chick and hey chick um, bundles so um, I'm hoping to get some stuff made when that all gets here and share it with you and I don't even know excuse me I'm gonna decline y'all um, when you say it receive calls from no one how does that come in I have my do not disturb on. I, I guess maybe I have to put it on airplane mode. I don't know. That's weird. Um, we had some problems with the home health nurse today. She couldn't get my mom's blood to draw. So she probably figured out what we're going to do and she's letting me know. Anyway. Um, hi, Kathy. Um, this is the sketch I created this morning, like I said, and I decided to use a um, tried and true bundle from last Christmas and I think I did a class on this a card to go class the poinsettia and petals um, this is in the annual catalog right now and um, I didn't do a sample because we're gonna just follow the sketch and create a card 
Um, I did a lot of the cutting and everything embossing ahead of time, so it's not going to be um, too hard. But when you have a sketch to go, it does make it a lot easier. So I decided, I've got my sketch here, and I decided, well, I need two strips of something, and um, I want to use some designer series paper, so I chose some prints from the Heartwarming Hugs um, designer series paper and it's the pile is across the room but these are the two little patterns I wanted to use they're little small patterns which I liked because we're only using little pieces so I cut a piece that is oh it didn't print on here this is one and a fourth I believe one and a fourth by five and then this one is one and a fourth by four and a half so what I did is I just cut one strip and then cut the two down and used the opposite um, patterns and I took the real red color out of my designer series paper and made my card base and then I wanted a little texture I don't know there you can kind of see it I used the um, Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder to add just a little bit of texture to that. And all I'm going to do is take my two little strips here and adhere them on my card front. Now I'm going to have this sketch available to you on the proper form. <laughs> Um, with the numbers showing. I, I must have um, been in a hurry. On my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, in fact it's there now, but I'm going to have to fix it. And you can print it out for yourself if you'd like to keep a folder or download it and just keep it on your computer. It's a little crooked. It's been a little while since I've been down here crafting. I'm probably out of touch. Um, Kathy, I created this sketch my own self this morning. I just was waiting for the home health nurse to arrive. And so I thought, okay, if I was going to make a card, and I just kind of... Um, made it myself. But if you Google or go on Pinterest and just search um, card, maybe card making sketches, you'll find a gajillion of them. Um, different people have shared. You can also take a card, let me grab a card real quick, that you've already made and use it like a sketch. Um, you know, you could take this card and just use different products. Like you could just ch change it up a little bit using different products. So you have a card base, you have a layer, then you have another layer, then you have a ribbon or a bow. So you can use a card as a sketch too. Carol, this little spatula, I had a Cricut years ago. Um, I don't have the Cricut anymore, but this thing has saved my life more times. <laughs> So maybe if you looked at tools for um, those those kind of machines, because you have to scrape up the, the paper off the mat, um, they probably sell similar things like that. Um, okay, so I've got my two little strips of paper. Then I've got a little rectangle here. And I could have just cut a rectangle four inches by two and a half but I wanted to make it a little fancy so I went ahead and used a new die that I received um, I was waiting remember when I did a I did a um, this stamp set color and contour it's from the new um, annual catalog the the dies were on back order and I finally got them so I was anxious to use them these dies I know I'm going to use a lot because look, this one will fit right on as a layer and give you that nice finished edge for your first layer of a card. So that's mainly why I wanted this, um, these dies. 
And then, of course, if you get the stamp set to go with it, you save 10%. And I had the little outline for the flowers, so why not, right? Um, and these are the cards I made with that bundle. Was it a couple weeks ago? I talked about blending and different, uh, we use different edge, edge dyes. And I used that um, color and contour, the stamp set. This is a dar darling little image. And I liked the um, edging dies that I used too. But the main reason I wanted these dies, I almost ordered just the dies, was for these layering rectangles. But, you know, what would I use that for? So I went ahead and got the, the stamp set. Um, so anyway, long story short, I cut this out of a four inch by two and a half inch piece of um, basic white cardstock. And I'm going to just kind of lay that right on the center. I'm not even going to pop it up or anything. <laughs> just kind of unusual for me. Okay, then what else do I have on my sketch? I've got a circle. And instead of the circle, I could have just used a circle die and maybe cut that out of some more co coordinating co um, designer series paper, or I could have put my sentiment on there. But I went ahead and cut um, a couple poinsettias out of the red velvet paper. And I'm going to just stack these up right here and I'm going to put them on with the mini dimensionals. They're the perfect size. So instead of a circle, I'm just putting this flower with the flower on here. I love this red velvet paper for the holidays. It'd be cute for Valentine's Day too. I've got some fall um, sets coming with my order that shipped today, so I hope to be sharing some different fall um, projects. I'm usually more fall than um, Halloween. Isn't that cute? I don't know if you can see, um, you know, it's kind of a flopped paper. It's really cool. And then for the middle, we'll get that done in here in just a minute. And then I took a piece of a half inch by three inch real red, and I'm going to emboss um, a sentiment from that poinsettia petal stamp set. I'm going to take the warm wishes from our home to yours. I just want to use the warm wishes on there. So I'm going to do a little masking on here with my stamp. I need some Versamark ink. I need the white embossing powder. I need my stamp. And I'm going to use my anti-static tool on here just for a sec. Okay, and then I'm going to mask my stamp with a post-it note. And I've got it, I've got my stamp on here crooked. So I'm just going to kind of put my um, post-it note right there. And then I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to do it this way. Hope, hope this is going to work. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center there. Oh, I think it's going to work. I just thought the warm wishes sentiment without the from our home to yours could be used for Kind of a thinking of you card. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas card. It could just be a winter winter card. It could be a nice um, birthday card for somebody who has a birthday during the holidays. 
Okay, I apologize for the noise, but I'm going to turn on my... Heat tool. All right, I'm going to tuck that right in there. Ooh. I didn't leave a whole lot of room to flag the end of that, but we can do it. So we're going to pull my flower up a little bit. I might have to move my flower over just a tad. Let's put this on here first. That's straight, y'all. There we go. Now we'll put our flower on. I don't know that it needs popped up. I think I'm going to just glue it or adhere it. Maybe just put a little liquid glue. I did pop it up between the flowers, so it's got a little bit of dimension. And then, you know, the the um, texture of it and I just want to make sure I can get it in my envelope right so I don't want my petals to stick out too far over the edge there we go now let me go grab some pearls or we could um, use there's a die here that we could use And just put right in the middle of that. I think we'll do that. I think I'll do a white, um, basic white cardstock on that. You would think I would have a scrap somewhere. <laughs> I tidied up my space before I turned the camera on so you guys wouldn't see what a mess it is down here. Let me grab a scrap. Okay. Now what happened to my little dad? There she is. We have the white velvet now. Could have cut that little flower center out of the white velvet. Okay. Yeah, isn't that cute? Okay, I'm going to just glue that down so it doesn't fly away. And that is the card using the um, sketch. Now, think of all the different things you could do. Um, instead of a flower, you could do a circle. Um, you could do any kind of die cut here instead of the circle. 
Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to use this um, what do you call it? Die cut. It's a die cut. <laughs> um, instead, you could just cut a rectangle there. We could have embossed that instead of the, the card back. Um, you could make it any, any occasion, any season you wanted, depending on the paper and the embellishments you use. So, I have an invitation for you all. I would like to see, and I, I hope I encourage, I encourage you um, strongly uh, within the next few days to get into your craft space and create a card using this sketch. I would love to see the different variety of things that you all come up with um, using this sketch. And I invite you to share it on um, the Plaid Poodle um, Facebook page, the page we're on right now. You can share it in the comments below this video or just share it in the comments. I, you know, I'm not going to be fussy about where it's, where it's shared. Um, but I would love to see what, what you do with it. And um, it doesn't have to be Stampin' Up! product. <laughs> I won't be fussy like that. Um, just whatever whatever you want to create. If it's Stampin' Up! product, product I would be thrilled. But if it's not, I'm still going to be thrilled. So, um, the, does that make sense to y'all? <laughs> I would love to see see your creations. And in the meantime, I'll try and come up with a couple more too using this sketch. Now, in about 30 minutes, I will have this sketch um, up over on um, my blog, and I will put a link to it in the comments, a PDF, that if you can download it on your machines or you can print it out if you need to refer back to it. So, or you can just look at it on, on the screen. So, um, the measurements and everything. And, you know, um, I'm not a stricular on the measurements. I just put those on mine just as, as a, a helpful hint. Um, depending on what you use for this layer, you may not, you may want something different than four inches by two and a half inches. So, let's see what you got, but use this as your inspiration. And I'd love to see what you come up with. Carol says, praying for your mom. Please pray for my daughter. Doctors figure out what is wrong with her. Oh, it's such a hard thing, isn't it, Carol? I will sure continue to pray for her. And I appreciate the prayers for my mom. She's probably facing a really, really big surgery. Um, and that's not a, a fun thing to go through. So, um. Any questions, just comment below, and I'd love to respond to you. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I'm not as active as I have been in the past, but um, I'm always around, and I'm always checking in. So you all have a good um, Monday, and I hope to be back on Wednesday. I think I will be, unless I call this home health nurse back and <laughs> see what they want us to do. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.